Joshua Bassett sets the record straight on his song Lie 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 and rumors behind his newly released EP. We will fill you in on all the tea surrounding Joshua's new music and how him and Olivia are handling all of the drama. I'm Kelsey McDonald and you're watching The Daily Report. Happy Tuesday! <laughs> I'm all mixed up. The year 2021 has been filled with a lot of drama and rumors when it comes to relationships and our favorite love triangle is still sitting in the spotlight. Olivia Rodrigo, Joshua Bassett, and Sabrina Carpenter have been our number one source of entertainment since the beginning of January after Olivia released her song, Driver's License. As we all know, Olivia and Joshua are the stars of High School Musical, the musical, the series, and their on-screen romance is absolutely undeniable. They gave us all the idea that they were dating in real life, but then reportedly broke up last August after Olivia posted a TikTok about a failed relationship. Joshua seemed to move on pretty quickly after the breakup when he started hanging out and possibly dating fellow Disney star Sabrina Carpenter. So after Driver's License was released and fans made assumptions about the lyrics and how they were linked to Joshua and Sabrina's relationship, Joshua dropped his new song a week later. We all were shocked at how quick Joshua released his song and quickly assumed it was a response to Olivia's driver's license. But Joshua said his song, Lie Lie Lie, was about an ex-friend. We still are not sure if that ex-friend could be Olivia, but the timing could not have been any more coincidental. Then Sabrina entered the chat and released her song, Skin, shortly after and made us all go even more crazy. I didn't think I could go even crazier, but I did. Olivia, Joshua, and Sabrina have been doing interviews recently promoting their new music, and obviously their drama comes up in every single one. They have been able to keep it cool, and none of them have actually admitted a few between each other. So guys, maybe this really is just all in our heads. <laughs> Joshua did an interview recently with Entertainment Tonight Canada and was asked about the love triangle drama. The interviewer asked him what his response was to all the fan theories around the connections between his songs and drivers license and skin. Joshua replied with quote, there's no response to be made. All I will say is, you know, that's her story to tell. Whatever the song is to her is her thing to tell, so I'll let her do that. Joshua continued with quote, but I would say I hope people don't forget the value that her and Sabrina bring to the world outside of the drama, and I hope people will look at the depth of who they are instead of just the surface level gossip. You go, Joshua. Setting the record straight. He also talked about the release of his EP, which came out this past Friday. After releasing his debut EP, which once contained a duet with Sabrina, Joshua talked with BuzzFeed, confirming that he wasn't tired of talking about or listening to Olivia's song. He said, quote, I get it. I get why people are asking about that stuff, but it doesn't really get to me. It's kind of amusing at this point. He continued with, quote, even like the SNL stuff, that's hilarious to me. People were so worried about me. I'm like, dude, I'm honored that SNL is making fun of me. So true, Joshua. I'd let SNL make fun of me too. That's like, you know you've made it when SNL is doing a sketch about you. <sighs> a girl can dream. What would they do? A sketch about hosting the Daily Report? <laughs> and then you, you're in it, and then Ocean? <gasps> I'm giving SNL all the ideas right now. He also talked about Olivia's rising popularity, telling BuzzFeed, quote, I'm also just proud of her and the success that her son is having. I really couldn't be mad at the situation. Joshua also talked to Entertainment Tonight about the release of his EP and made it clear that his songs are not tied to his alleged breakup with Olivia. He said, quote, I think the songs speak for themselves. That's really the truth. It's funny for me to see people speculate or make theories about things. I don't see a lot of it, but what I see, I'm like, where are you getting this from? He went on to say, quote, it's so funny how people piece it together, but I get it. We're all in quarantine. Everybody's got nothing to do. So everyone's trying to make more meaning out of something than there is. Then, it's not over yet. Joshua brought up the drama that followed him and Olivia after releasing their music, setting the record straight that Lie 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 was not a response to driver's license once again. <laughs> he even went on to say that he and Olivia laugh about all of the rumors and drama surrounding them. <gasps> the tea. And if you were wondering how things were going on the set of High School Musical, the musical, the series, Joshua said, quote, Olivia's amazing. We were filming the season throughout everything going on and all is well. And we finished strong and it was really great. We cannot wait to watch season two, like counting down the days. Just knowing everything that was going on behind the scenes will make this season even more enjoyable. Like, I cannot wait. 
Joshua was also asked about his song, Heaven Is You, which is apparently co-written by Sabrina Carpenter, and is the last song he wrote for his EP. He said the song has a special place in his heart and that he wrote it last summer. Ooh, before I even continue, last summer, last summer co-writing with Sabrina Carpenter, last summer is apparently when all the drama went down. Kyle, I'm getting, some, I'm getting somewhere here. There's something brewing. He was asked if the song is about his rumored girlfriend, Sabrina, and Joshua replied with, quote, no, it's not, but people are going to speculate whatever they're going to speculate. Well, there goes my theory right there. <laughs> Joshua and Sabrina were supposed to release a track together titled We Both Know, but the song was replaced with Telling Myself on Joshua's EP. He told Entertainment Tonight that his collab with Sabrina was one of his favorite songs that he's ever written and that he is excited about it, but that he does not have any ideas when the song will be released. <sighs> Joshua, we are dying to hear it. And even though there was supposedly that leak of the song on Twitter, I'm still dying to hear it, the full one. So what does Sabrina think of Joshua's EP? She posted on her Instagram story celebrating Joshua's work, saying, quote, I am in awe of your talent, plus the way you tell stories. So happy this is out in the world. She also said that Heaven Is You is her personal favorite. Well, maybe because you co-wrote it, Sabrina? I see you. It's literally such a beautiful song, though. I'm here with you, girl. But now we want to know what you think. Have you listened to Joshua's EP yet? What is your favorite song? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel and make sure to follow us at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. Also, make sure to follow the Daily Report podcast on Spotify. The link is right there down in the description box below. I'm Cousin McDonald and... I still think I have a fan theory here. Written last summer, co-wrote, trying to sneakily put in that he co-wrote it with her just on like Spotify, but not saying it. Oh, I have so much to think about. <laughs>